Hey there, Shubi Doodlers. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to draw a sundial and the pedestal. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Now, you are going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. So what we're going to do is to start off by drawing an ellipse, which is not the easiest thing to draw. So it's a squashed circle, basically. And... Let's make that a little bit smaller, I think, to fit in here. So let's do it about like that. Now, imagine that this is a cylinder. So we're gonna build the whole thing as if it's a cylinder, and then that will have half an ellipse at the bottom. So you could, but you can draw the whole ellipse just to get the feeling of what's going on at the bottom. And then this is gonna have a thickness. So let's kind of make this a, Let's do this all in a kind of a 3D thing going on here. And then the same thing will happen here, down at the bottom, kind of like that. So you can imagine two discs joined together by a cylinder. Now that's about the middle. And we imagine that it's a wheel, two wheels on their side, and that's an axle going all the way down the middle. So if you draw a line across there, that's going to get the, the, the middle there. And this is kind of where the, the axle of those wheels will go. Think of them as like kind of railway wheels, big fat wheels like that. Now we're going to want to come and cut these in half as well. And across there like that. And then we can drop a line down there and there and there and there too. Now, what we're going to do is to make this an octagonal thing rather than round. So we can square those edges up like that. And we'll do the same here. And by making it octagonal, it just makes it, bit, you know, more interesting, really. So you could just do it as a, as a circle if you want. You could just do it as a square if you want, but that gets a bit more complicated with the... Um, with the disc that we're just about to put in on the top. So in here, then again, we want another ellipse, which is going to fit into there like that. And then let's draw another one in there as well like that. And then we're going to want to have the actual sundial -y bit, which will be sort of coming like that with a piece on the bottom and let's make it all one one of those sort of solid bit of brass just sort of screwed in there and this is going to be a, a, a brass plate screwed in on the top and then we're going to want to have a pedestal so let's build this up here and imagine um, we'll have a, a sort of a, a circle there and and I think we're just going to make that kind of a, a, a sort of a little dome there, and then that will be about the middle. And then we so we can then have a little kind of pad thing there, and then we can draw this kind of classic sort of pillar shape like that. It's a kind of a teardrop kind of thing like that, isn't it? And in fact, we can make that kind of a bit higher up around there like that. We can maybe have a bit of scallop or something. Well, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> to get regular drawing hints, tips and inspiration, click subscribe, ring the bell and select all notifications. And I'm going to start here by drawing in this. So I'm going to draw very thinly two little lines to give the thickness of the brass. And then that's going to sort of come around like that. And we're probably going to get a little bit of thickness in there as well. And that will join up there. Now I'm going to come down there <laughs> and down there and across and across and across and across. And then I'm just going to bring these lines up, but not really meet at the top. So this will give a kind of a softer edge by not actually meeting in a sharp corners here. But that wants to be a bit sharper on there. That's just that. 
And then we go straight across to there, straight down there. Now let's put this plate in here, and this will be so they'll kind of chase out the a bit of stone and sink this brass plate into the top. And then we're going to do this is kind of engraved this, so you can do that more a spotty kind of line like that. And then I'm going to want the number lines to get the, the sort of how. And then these are going to be where the shadows will fall to create the hours of the day. So they're going to go backwards like that. And I'm not doing this exactly accurately, but uh, it should be okay. And then we're going to want to have a kind of Roman numerals and things written all the way around the outside like that and then there might be a motto in there and there might be a motto along there as well now you might find a, a little kind of ring around there as well so and there we can bring this around bring that around and then we can join those up neatly underneath and then we want this kind of pads and then in fact what I'm going to do is just go around like that and then I'm going to draw another little kind of ring around there like that just to make it a bit more interesting and then that will come to there that will come to that point straight down and across now here we might put in some little bits of grass if it's standing in the grass like that and then that can come up and up and up and then we do what like we did at the top not quite joining them up when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase the pencil lines <laughs> now you might ask why i'm doing it Sundar. Well, at the moment, I'm researching and writing a book about Sir Isaac Newton. He who um, had the apple fall on his head when he discovered uh, gravity. And uh, and I'm finding it absolutely fascinating. And it turns out, as a boy, he was a little obsessed with sundials. And, uh, and kind of made lots and lots of sundials. So I thought I would do this and tell you about it and, and let you know that on my patreon page you can click up here to go and <laughs> discover more on my patreon page um i'm kind of letting my patrons into the whole kind of process of writing this book and researching and that kind of thing and um and then some of them will be able to get the free ebook thing when i've actually published the thing as well so why not come over and support me <laughs> help me make this book so at the moment I'm doing shading um, uh, so the light is sort of coming from this direction I'm going to add a bit more here so what I've done is hatching and this is now cross hatching and if you want to know more about cross hatching check out this video up here which is getting quite popular on uh, YouTube at the moment um, which is uh, how to do cross hatching um, funnily enough so we'll, this will be shadow, and then we'll want a bit more shadow coming around there, and a bit more sort of shadow in there. And I think we'll probably have a bit more shadow underneath. And so this is this is more kind of this that, this bit of shading is really to give a feeling of the curve. That's a bit of shadow. So we'll have a tiny bit of shadow in there, but also this big pillar. Um, we'll be creating a shadow as well, so we can sort of put something a bit sort of darker in there, and that will come across there too, uh, like that. But we'll want that extra bit in there, and we'll have some shading in these parts here too. And then there will be shading on the ground, and then there will be that extra. So let's put a bit of cross hatching in there to make that definite and then there'll be some extra kind of cross hatching for the shade that the pillar itself is casting 
across there and I'm going to add a little bit more across there and maybe see once you start cross hatching it's very difficult to stop <laughs> and of course the sundial itself will be casting shadow so I'm just going to just carefully put a little bit of shade in the sundial and I think we're going to have something like like that going across as well and then the stone can be a kind of pale sandy stone color and the plate at the top and the dial itself are going to be a bronzy kind of color and then the grass will be a kind of a grassy color well, there you go thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to the shoe rainer drawing channel and keep coming back every week for lots more drawing videos and in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye